what's going on guys welcome back to the channel my name is Dave this is Hudson Moto Visuals and today we are going to go pick up the 2020 Harley Davidson Road Glide special from Get Lowered Cycles <laughs> But I'm gonna do this video because I pick it up with a trailer with my 2016 Jeep Cherokee Latitude with the V6. So this Jeep is a 2016. I did look up online. The Jeep website told me this could tow up to 4,500 pounds and I got a five by nine U-Haul trailer the actual tow hitch, I actually, it's an aftermarket, it's a Kurt tow hitch. All the stuff here is Kurt. The one that's attached to the vehicle, the ball on the mount, everything is capable to towing up to 5,000 pounds, but the vehicle itself is 4,500. And we have this five by nine U-Haul. So this 5x9 U-Haul, uh, I was actually going to rent it to go down to Tennessee, but we never went. But this 5x9 U-Haul is about 1,200 pounds. And it could hold up to 1,600 pounds. So total weight is probably just under 3,000 pounds. So I mean, you could probably get two sport bikes, three sport bikes in here. Definitely. Easy load, it's got the ramp. This is the one you want to rent, not the motorcycle trailer. Because actually with the motorcycle trailer, you really are limited in space. So this is one of the one you want. It doesn't have the wheel chalk, but I do have my condo wheel chalk that I'm gonna take. And actually I know this won't bolt to the floor, but they have little D-rings here. Then I'm going to ratchet it to the right. We get lowered is about an hour and a half away. And we are going to go pick up the bike. I actually picked up the uh, dropped off the bike with the U-Haul motorcycle trailer. It's it did its job. It just felt like it was a little flimsy. It bounced around too much. At least this one has a somewhat decent suspension. I hit some bumps on it and uh, it uh, absorbed it pretty well. So the gas mileage I got with the motorcycle trailer from U-Haul with this, uh, I did about 90 miles and the trip meter on the car said it was 22 miles to the gallon, but I actually did it, I filled at the pump and I just divided by how many gallons I used in miles, it actually came out to 20 miles to the gallon, so we're going to see how this one does. So, I'm about to get on the road and let's get going here. So we're gonna give you average MPG on this, see how it feels in toes. You could tell it's a little heavier from the other one. I'd rather rent this one. To tell you the truth, it was only $15 more. And why not, you get more space. Even if I had a bike in here, I could fill it up with parts and stuff like that and no have no problem, but, uh, they do have a one that has the wheel chalk in it. Uh, they did have one there, but I don't know why they gave me this one. But it's okay. I have my own wheel chalk. All right. So it is about 11 o'clock now. It's an hour and a half. We'll probably be there by 1, 1 1.30. And we're off. So let's get going. All right, guys. We are here on the highway. Just initial thoughts so far. I actually... Uh, drove this through town with the hook with the hookup on the back you do feel all the bumps obviously just for the fact that you know what you have a 1200 pound uh, trailer hooked up especially when you do hit the bumps you do feel the uh, trailer pushing the car around a little bit but you know they don't have brakes on this I think anything bigger than a like a 6x12 they put brakes on so this is actually all all the brakes of the car but here on the highway right now, it, it feels stable. You know, we're not. I'm not going too fast. 
I am going the speed limit. You know, the people here in New Jersey are uh, nut jobs when it comes to driving. So, you know, I'm at the speed limit right now. We're just cruising in the right lane. Um, it feels fine. You do feel like the car is pulling something. It does feel a little heavy. Uh, you hear the transmission work a little bit more. But, you know, right now the uh, MPG is uh, it says 18 miles per gallon and cruising at the speed limit of uh, 65 so right now it feels stable on the road so uh, once we get off the highway we'll, uh, we'll see what the MPG looks like right now. So we crossed into Pennsylvania now, and the odometer is reading 21.9 miles to the gallon. It's almost the same as what my whole trip was last time, but we are also going to account that we're going to take the bike on there next once I get to get lowered. So. Taking our time, you know, doing these speed limits on here, especially you know you're towing something, and you don't want to get too crazy. But we are almost there. We're about 30 minutes out, and we will uh, pick it up from there. All right, so we just loaded up the bike. Sounds awesome. Actually. I didn't give you a sound clip here just for the fact that uh, I gotta return this trailer by five o'clock and I gotta get going back because you know, it's Saturday traffic. So yeah, man, it sounded nice when I was loading it up on. Got my condo wheel track there. Put some goodies on it, but that'll be the next video. Uh, so far the Jeep, it was saying it was doing almost 22 miles a gallon with this 1200 pound uh, trailer now added about another 800 pounds so it's about 2000 pounds we'll see how it does now all right let's go and let's get home all right guys what's going on we are here back in sea caucus i just dropped off the bike and we're going to return this trailer actually i have until six o'clock which is it's five o'clock right now um, to return the trailer and um, I didn't show anything of the bike because that will be a different video but this video was basically about you know how this car was towing uh, the weight of the trailer and the bike and this car did uh, did actually very well uh, right now with an empty trailer and driving to the U-Haul it is it says it's 20 miles average mpg so we'll see at the pump but first let me drop this off and then we'll get gas and we'll uh really do the calculation so right now i did about 188 miles and the trip meter mpg meter is saying 20.8 miles to the gallon so Let's drop this trailer off and we'll go to the pump and we will see. All right guys, so we dropped off the trailer now. We're here at the gas station. I just filled up and it says 20.6 miles per gallon with the trailer. Again, that was a five by nine trailer. It weighed about 1200 pounds. I did a round trip without the bike and with the bike and we filled up just now and it took 10 gallons. 
So 10, and I did 194 miles. So, simple math. 194 divided by 10 is 19.4. So, yeah, I mean, it was almost accurate. It's off a half a mile. Yeah, so it's 10 gallons. I did 194 miles. We'll call it 195 because it was 194.8. So, so 195, you divide that by 10 gallons and it's technically a mile off. So you would get 19.5 and right now it says 20.5. So yeah, so this car, 19 miles to the gallon with that kind of a trailer, not too bad. Uh, usually, um, Usually without the trailer, if I'm on the highway doing that, it's usually about, uh, I wanna say 25, 26 miles to the gallon. So I lost a five, five mile MPG, but you know, that's, uh, it's not too bad. Again, like I said, there's a V6 engine. It's could tow up to 4,500 pounds. So, well, anyway, guys, if you, liked today's video just to give you you know an estimate of uh what this car can do and what how much to tow you know if you like that kind of kind of thing just uh, make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that like button and if you do subscribe also hit that bell notification every time i upload something the good old youtube will let you know also one more thing I did some upgrades on the 2020 Road Glide, so stay tuned for those videos. So have a great day, guys. Peace.